Hey everybody. Um, so hopefully you have at least taken a look at the SAQ from yesterday. I uh, wanted to go over some key points, some key answers uh, from those two questions and uh, just making sure that we're getting the right stuff whenever we're practicing these. So a big part of the New Deal and the Great Depression is really how much government involvement um, ramped up during this time period. Uh, right before this, and really for a long time before this, it was laissez-faire economics uh, were the lay of the land, where the government really um, didn't regulate the economy um, nearly as much as they do today. So FDR is kind of the guy who ushers in this new era of regulation, um, which some people thought were really good and some people thought were really bad. And that's kind of the point of these cartoons here. So first one, um, we have FDR, and he's trying to sell Uncle Sam uh, this car that says federal control. Notice Uncle Sam is with his wife named Miss Democracy here, and they're riding around in this horse and buggy, uh, the Constitution. It's the old way. It's the traditional way, just like this horse and buggy. And FDR is trying to help the United States upgrade, trying to update to this, this federal control. Um, now, the question asked is, what is the author's or artist's point of view? What aspects of the cartoon show us that? And one specific historical event. Well, the point of view here, um, you might say, well, this is good. He's trying to help Uncle Sam get to this new uh, era. But the whole federal control thing right here has a negative connotation to it. Uh, you know, car salesmen, they're always kind of seen as kind of skeezy, trying to just get the most money out of you as they can. And I think that's the artist's point of view here. You know, FDR's trying to sell this new federal control, this government oversight, onto Uncle Sam, onto the United States. Uh, really the old way is working just fine. Aspects of the cartoon, how does it show us that? Well, anything I pointed out there, um, you know, concern look on Miss Democracy's face and, you know, the fact that it looks like she's going to go away if this new federal control comes in. The fact that FDR is kind of being put off as like this uh, sketchy salesperson. Um, and then specific event that supports that. Um, court packing plan is an easy one. Um, any of the New Deal pieces of legislation that got struck down would also be good. Uh, anything that showed that FDR was trying to take too much control or people thought he was or any of his programs that got deemed unconstitutional because of that. Second cartoon, um, similar question. Uh, compare the point of view to the last one. How do aspects show us that? And a specific event. And here, FDR has kind of looked in, or put in a better light. Notice he's like this home visiting doctor. He's coming with these New Deal remedies. He's going to try to help Uncle Sam, who's sick. He's in his, his robe and his slippers, and he's trying to take all these different medicines that hopefully will make him feel better. And FDR is telling, you know, Congress, who makes the laws, well, of course, we may have to change remedies if we don't get results. So I'm doing all I can. I'm trying to help the economy. What are you guys doing? You're kind of just sitting around waiting for results. And I might need to do more if this doesn't work. So whereas the last cartoon, FDR is kind of seen as this guy trying to take control, um, the next cartoon kind of shows him as this person who's really just trying to help. Um, so that would be the big comparison there. Number two, aspects of the cartoon. Anything I pointed out, like I said, He's kind of looked at as like a hero. He's a doctor here, not a sketchy salesperson. Um, he's doing all this work to try to uh, help America not just sell people on some scam. And a specific event that supports that, um, any of the New Deal programs would be good. Anything that got people back to work, um, any of the industrial projects, uh, any the first 100 days of the New Deal, um, Social Security or the FDIC, any of these programs that stick around uh, would be good historical evidence to use to support that. So um, 
answers vary. You probably came up with some other stuff that would have worked here. Um, like I said, I really just kind of want to do this for practice. And um, for the rest of this week, we're going to be covering the rest of period seven. Um, however, instead of kind of giving assignments every day, I think I'm just going to post uh, helpful um, review activities uh, that you guys can view. Um, so I'll have more about that in my next video.